Okay, guys, we're heading back to Allie's kitchen. I can't wait for the galette to come out of the oven. So we're gonna take our pastry that was from the fridge. You just wanna kinda keep the shape that it's already in. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a galette. Next, we're gonna add our filling. Just gonna dump it in the center. And even if it's really, really juicy, that's okay. Add all the juices as well. This is an offset spatula, and it's my, one of my favorite tools in baking. Invest in one of these. They're not even that expensive. And just kinda pull up the pastry so it's easier to work with. From there, all we're gonna do is we're gonna lift and fold the pastry over. And it's okay, I, a piece broke there and that's fine. I like to use milk because it gives it a really nice brown color. The egg wash typically gives it a really good shine and since this is a rustic uh, galette, we want it to be more on the brown side. I like to add some crystalled sugar. Again, it just helps with the rustic feel. We're gonna add a couple of knobs of butter just on the top. All we're gonna do is put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. You can see I've got another pan in there to catch the extra juices. So I've let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes. It's really hot when it comes out of the oven. All the juices are bubbling. So you just want to let it sit and rest for a little bit. You can serve it hot or cold. You can also make individual ones. They're perfect on your own or for sharing. Oh, that looks so good. Well, we are back to chat about one of her favorite things, florals at Sarah Gunn. And we know that you love your flowers, you love your pastels. Mm -hmm. We're both repping in the florals today. We are. I love it. But we want to take you a little bit outside your box as well when it comes to um, florals. Mm -hmm. So let's start in London, shall we? Yes. London. Um, is one of my favorite places we've already talked about and yes. there's a shop there in central London just off Regent Street called Liberty London and it's an iconic department store that's been there forever mm -hmm. and they're really known for their florals. I actually did a painting of it when I came back because I had some spare time on my hands but it's got this beautiful Tudor exterior and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous uh, place to go get inspired for decor and their florals like I said, are iconic and inspiring. Mm -hmm. You know, so much design around the world. Your art is incredible. Thank you. That's very nice. Thank you should you. do more of that. Okay, so the Liberty, like the Liberty print is very um, mm -hmm. famous. It the is. The Liberty it floral. Is. And you, you'll probably recognize it as soon as you see it because you've brought in some items that I did. have it, right? Right, I did. I did. And the, the other cool thing about London I want to say too is that in late spring they have the Chelsea Flower Show and then storefronts all over the city decorate around their doorways with the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous florals um, you can that. see it in that isn't that spectacular I took that photo when I was there and there were so many I wanted to live there. I know in the, you in did. In that doorway. In the <laughs> doorway. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah, and florals are nothing new in your home. I've got a bunch of examples in front of you here of where we typically see florals in your home. You've got your cushions, your yeah. table linens, you know, glassware, dinnerware. These are actually, um, these are Liberty London pattern here that you can see yeah. um, that they did a partnership with Anthropology so that we could get some of this stuff across this side of the pond. Mm -hmm. So you can see, you know, they've got a more like a tighter, smaller floral, but we're seeing it in every scale in your home and this oh, yeah. is where we can get it you can go out and buy it almost anywhere these days which is great yes but you know why not try it in an unexpected way have totally. a little bit of fun with it right well, you'll even see that liberty print in fashion which is really nice oh, completely but why not think about putting it up on the ceiling right i know it's such an unexpected but beautiful beautiful idea so i have a friend uh leslie who has a website the lovely leslie style excuse me and she decorated her house beautifully in her living room put these on her ceiling surrounding her chandelier so beautiful and very simple to do because it's peel and stick oh. and you just place the individual flowers so it's not a difficult project they look yes. like they're hand painted but they're they not do. I know I know they're and not. if she does get sick of them although I hope she doesn't she can just peel them off you can take them off exactly. that is incredible I think it's beautiful here's another way to do it that I hadn't seen before this uh, on a staircase yes I absolutely love this so dramatic That's gorgeous. and so beautiful so this is uh, Andy and Candace from old home love did this and what they did which I think is really cool is they purchased an image online and you can do that you can yeah. buy images from different websites for personal or commercial use and they went to a, a sign making shop and had it printed on really durable vinyl and put it on their stairs but you don't have to do that right because there are so many gorgeous vinyl peel and stick wallpapers I've shown them on the show before yep. and you just cut them 
and peel them to those risers and they're not going to get a lot of wear and tear mm -hmm. unless you have kickers in your house as they're walking up the stairs. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't put them on the treads but it's such a beautiful dramatic statement in your entrance yeah. hallway possibly going up to the second floor. Especially because it's not your typical pastels. Right. It's very moody. It's a very moody dramatic and sophisticated floral so you can go in either direction oh, right? Now back to the gorgeous bright pastels you can actually have florals on your refrigerator. It's kind of fun right? That is a cool yeah, idea. You, just, you know even just for the spring or summer or something yes. just do you know apply some decals to your fridge and just add a little bit of personality in there. I think it's yeah. a fun thing to do. It's a lot of personality it is and a I lot think of it works really nicely. Um, let's talk about other ways you might want to think about doing it uh, that you know maybe are a little bit outside of the box. Yes so let's work our way from the ceiling we've already talked about down yeah. to the floor. These tiles are stunning. So these are vinyl tiles and they are, they are so spectacular. They're from the good tile and they are very easy to apply with just an adhesive onto your floor mm -hmm. or I mean I picture this in a powder room or something. Yes. It'd be so beautiful but I also absolutely love the idea of using it on a backsplash. That would be Thank amazing. Oh See, my that's, gosh, and that's a, a commitment. Or, oh yeah, it is. I was saying I'm way too boring for that. <laughs> it is so gorgeous, and if you had it at your house, I would be like, Sarah is beautiful. Right. But in my house, I'm gonna have to go to a black and white or something like that. <laughs> that's you beautiful can. for a front foyer. Yeah. That's beautiful for a backsplash. It's beautiful for a powder room. Like yes. I think it makes a gorgeous statement. I do too. And you could do that in a black and white floral. It would be totally really could. amazing. The other thing you could do if you wanted it to be temporary and you don't have a backsplash because I don't have one in my house. Yeah. You could get a piece of plywood cut to the size of your backsplash, mm -hmm. put the tiles on there, just Velcro that to the wall oh, as a temporary true. idea. That's right? a good idea. Yeah, it's fun. That's great. I and love e that. And easy to do. Okay, you also have this uh, example here. Well, we talked about a fridge, right? And yeah. you do that. So why not just, you know, if you have these beautiful mixers on your counter, everyone likes to display their really pretty colored appliances, just add a few small flowers to that, and it's a really fun idea. Again, they're peel and stick, really easy to put on. Beautiful. Yeah, and those um, are from Urban Wall Decals. It looks custom. I, it does. People will say, where'd you get your mixer? I know. It's like, I made I it. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I did it myself. And then on the wall. And these, again, are from the same company. And they're yeah. stunning. And the cool thing about them is, now I cut them out individually. They come on large sheets. Yes. But you do want to cut out around them, not as carefully as this, but place them on the wall with tape and then have some fun with it, right? Okay. So then you can play around with the design if you just wanted to have them, let's say, on one side of the room mm -hmm. you can try it out and see if you just want them draping one side just to have that yes. little special moment play around with them and have some fun with them and put the furniture in the place first before you attach them to the wall smart they can yep. go in any configuration totally thank you for your fun with florals